All right, y'all. I know I have shown y'all this before, but I just want to show y'all. Y'all know that melon was not like that when I harvested them too. But yeah, I got some. I got some current tomatoes. Uh oh. This one is setting. Um, look at this. That's gonna be another female. It's peas in here too. All this stuff is growing together. But I wanted to show y'all. I think this morning I got all of the um I hand pollinated all the females. I I think yeah. Here's one of the females I hand pollinated. Right there. I think that one did take. And then let's see. Y'all can watch me as I take off male flowers. I take off male flowers just because the plant's going to take energy to close those flowers. It's not a whole lot of energy, but this is a female here. Hand pollinated that one this morning. I just kind of wanted to show y'all how these melons are showing up and showing out. So, once again, you know, if you watch my video about what I learned in the garden this year, it's even furthermore that I learned don't give up on your plants too soon. I was going to pull this plant. Look here. It's another female. I hand pollinated that one this morning. Um... I was literally going to just like pull this and um and I was gonna say oh no more melons are gonna show up on this plant. Can y'all see way in here? That's the one I hand pollinated before that I told you about that it ended up the it ended up taking. Um let's go around to the other side. Don't mind the corn, folks, don't mind the corn. What did I hand pollinate this morning? I hand pollinated over here too. Here we go. Can y'all see that one? Hand pollinated that one this morning. There's another one in here somewhere, y'all. But what I'm saying to y'all is these melons have just went. Oh, here's the other one. Hand pollinated that one this morning. What I'm saying to y'all is Sometimes just wait a little bit, because I ain't going to lie. A lot of the leaves was looking like this. Those are the leaves from the original plant. But you can see it's put on all this beautiful growth. I probably should cut the leaves off. They're not doing nothing. It's really kind of hard for me to reach them, though. That's why I hadn't really cut them off. But y'all just give your plants some time. Sometimes, yeah, I could have ripped this out and probably planted something right here. But it looked like I may be able to get because see it's 90 degrees and it's the end of September it's not going to get cold enough to kill these melons they might slow down some but I don't know they might keep growing y'all but if it stay hot like this because it's really kind of supposed to stay in the low 80s to the to the 90s for a little bit y'all I think I'm going to be alright something been eating my peas I don't really care. I'm, I'm about tired of peas, y'all. Oh, if y'all watch my other video, these some seeds y'all can have too. Lady cream peas, if you like, if you like field peas, you're welcome to them. I got plenty of them seeds. I got more of them seeds than I know what to do with. But yeah, oh, let me show y'all this. Is this a female? No, it's a male. Look at that. A tomato's turning, and it's beautiful. It don't have a, it don't have a mark, a bite, nothing, nowhere on it, nowhere. And there's some more tomatoes. Let me see. Remember those other two little bitty tomatoes? There they are there. They nice size. And I'm going to tell you, I don't know what variety this is. This was a volunteer. I don't know what variety. I don't know these fruits may not set it being as hot as it is. But we're going to give it a shot, y'all. Uh-oh. But yeah, as y'all can see, those tomatoes look beautiful. Like I said, I'm not really... Uh-oh. Let's see. Can y'all see that one? That one's about the size of a grape. Maybe a little smaller. So that one must have set recently. 
Hopefully I get some more to set, but if it cools off a little, like goes down into the 80s, I think I'll be able to get some more stuff to set. But this is just grown out of the top of the cage, leaned over, just doing its thing. Same thing with the metal. Grew out of the top of the cage. It's leaning all over. You see the tendrils reaching all out here. I may need three or four bras for all is said and done. So if y'all thought that one was something. Get ready, because I'm going to have to go through the collection. I'm going to have to thin out the lingerie collection. I'm going to show y'all one more thing. Or well, probably two or three more things. These indeed are... Am I zoom? Let's zoom out. These indeed are shishito peppers. They will get a little bit bigger. I know these plants are very small. And this is what I was talking about, about seedlings. I mean, these, they survived. But look how many little blooms they got at the top, like... And this one putting on blooms. They're not big plants, but they look good. And they putting on peppers. Y'all see my turmeric still doing its thing. But I'm going to come down here and show y'all what I hand pollinated this morning. So I hand pollinated that this morning. I think this one got pollinated by the bees and it actually took. This is my eggplant. Let's try to help you. That particular eggplant has never put on eggplants. That was the weakest out of all the six plants. I actually need to come here and like cut that basil. I'm, I'm probably gonna like and cut the whole top off. And then when I do that, it'll branch out. Same thing with this one. I'm probably gonna cut the top off. And it'll branch out. But I just saw something I hadn't noticed. This is a shishito pepper too. And this pepper has been down in the middle of all of this for a long time. Y'all excuse me while I rip off leaves that aren't doing anything. Can y'all see this pepper plant? Y'all see it's got shishito peppers on it. And um, if you've not grown shishito, I grew shishito last year. They are a delicious pepper. Absolutely delicious and very productive. Do not go on what you see here. Go on my videos that I had last year. Because my peppers are kind of messed up. I killed a lot of them. I stunted a lot of them. Planted them out here. And didn't harden them off. Things of that nature. Um, but as you can see, this plant is small and in the shade of all this other stuff. It's been growing in all this tangle of squash and tomatoes and it's a whole bunch of stuff in here. So, and if that can grow peppers and grow like that, imagine what it would do if it was actually, you know, not all shaded out and stuff like that. So, so yeah, let me show y'all. Can y'all see, can y'all see Pissy Chris? What is he doing? Look at it. You tie it, but you don't do anything. Buddy, you don't, you don't. The people might not want to watch you bathe. You know, maybe you should bathe in private. <laughs> Y'all see, I miss actually how far I am from it. So, but, um, oh, I'll show you how it is. I keep saying, oh gonna show this I'm only gonna show that and I keep walking around that's what happens so I got two of these peppers that are um they're ripe I'm gonna take them off more than likely and then as you if you look up as you can see I have lots more and I have blooms where those came from and peppers here that you know they're still setting fruit so um Deborah Christmas gave me these seeds. I'm going to save seeds from these peppers. And in the spirit of Deborah Christmas, I'm going to pass these on as well to as soon as I start saving seeds. But I can't save seeds right now because I don't have any. The other pepper, I, I just ate it. These peppers don't have that many seeds in the middle of them. But if I cook with them, I'm not going to use the seeds, y'all. Because I can't handle it. Oh, <laughs> y'all saw me when I ate them. So, yeah, these are some really, really tasty peppers. And if you like hot peppers, I'll send you some. So, 
that's pretty much all that's in the garden. There really ain't nothing else going on, y'all. So, I mean, probably about the last thing I can show you is. So, these started to bloom, but these actually look prettier. Well, if I get out of the light, there we go. So, man, until next time, I will see you guys later.